Hello and welcome to my TBC mining guide. These are the five topics you can expect me to talk about in the mining guide. The mining trainer are located in Hellfire. For Alliance it's gonna be in Honorhold and for Horde in Fralmar. Once you're level 50 and you're level 275 in mining, you can actually learn this. The Horde trainer is located close to the Flight Master. For Alliance, the mining trainer is located in the blacksmithing hub. In TBC, you have two options for mining bags. So the first one is going to be one you can buy from a window for 10 gold, while the second option is the one you can get crafted from a leather worker. This is where you can actually find the mining bag. So for Horde, Bralmar and for Alliance in the temple. The innkeeper in the city will actually sell those bags. The price for this bag is usually 10 gold. It depends on your reputation. In some of the TBC dungeons, you can actually scale your mining. So in this case, for example, you can reset a dungeon and you can go with a group who hasn't got any miners beside you. And this way you can easily skill up without any competition. For Hellfire Ramparts and Bird Ferns, this isn't the case. So what I suggest you is to level the first 25 levels in the open world. The next topic is the routes I do in the open world and we're gonna start with Hellfire. In this zone I usually farm all the way up to 325. In Sanka Marsh I usually stay all the way up to 350. I combine the zone together with Terraka Forest because those two zones have the same kind of ores. The scariest area here requires flying mount, so skip this one in case you're still not level 70. In Nagrand, you have to make sure you skip Twilight Ridge if you don't have flying mount. Regarding Corian veins, they can actually spawn at the same location as the other veins, and that's the reason why you can't see them marked on the map. The red line you can see in every single screenshot is actually the way I'm flying, so if you don't have flying mount, you have to skip some of the areas that you can't reach. But this is why I also recommend that you actually do dungeons and you do your mining in the dungeons. Because this way you can actually farm reputation together with doing your profession. The mining trainer in TBC will actually let you learn a lot of different things to craft. But in Sunville Plateau you can actually find the recipe for hardened Corium. This recipe you don't have to worry about early on in TBC. In patch 2.4, when you can actually get this recipe, it's gonna be really useful, because Hardnet Corium is a material you need for most of the epic crafted items from Sunwolf. I hope my guide was helpful to you. In case you would like to see other TPC guides, make sure to look to your right. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.